Let's find out first, what is your name? I'm Chun, nice to meet you. Chu, how did you find out about the show tonight? Andrew recommended me, actually, the photographer. Andrew? Yeah. Right, he told me, and uh, you, you're the one who dance, right? Mm -hmm. Are you the, you're the dancer? Yeah, and modeling, okay. mostly. And modeling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about your uh, dance career and your dance uh, life? And, uh, like, uh, you know, why do you dance and w what's happening w in, in that perspective? Yeah, sure, definitely. I think dance is something amazing and more importantly, like the idea of being a model and like I'm actually introverted by nature, but it's really nice to be on a stage and even rock, walk the runway and being confident. My journey for me was when I started really young, I loved to wear costumes. I saw where well, I started with ballet and I, and I looked through the glass and I was like, oh my gosh, look at those cute ballerinas. I want to be a ballerina. So it started that way. And then I've been on tour. I've been producing and choreographing. I've been... On big and what small. kind of dance do you do? All styles, so I'm known for my versatility. Okay. Um, when we spoke about producing like a show as a dance show, like uh, what was the like your thoughts? Like which uh, like a dance production would you consider to do? Do, do? Have you given a thought? Yeah, I've been producing on my own for the past five years. So I've produced for parties. Um, it's called Get Together NYC. You can follow us on Instagram and everywhere. Um, we've cut the party because a lot of us have focused on our solo careers. So recently I produced my first one-woman show. So I dance and perform and sing and act and model for the whole time. For It's a like two, three-hour event and it's about the five elements. I combine technology with dance and art as well. So yeah, follow me for my journey, Venus Chun, my brand Venus. I'm your Venus, you're my fire, your desire. I love disco, so I really like um, disco music, funk, soul, old school sounds. I wanted to bring the underground of New York out through. I also do this dance called The Hustle. It's born in the 70s in uniquely New York. So I'm really a strong, like, I guess, New York underground kind of um, person, and I like that sound. So I've been exploring that kind of sound and movement for the past five years. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your uh, experience as the uh, model for the Instagram and the, uh, like, uh, getting things uh, following? I see that you have quite a bit of following, right? Uh, on the Instagram and the uh, social media. What do you do specifically to look, get uh, that attention uh, from the uh, viewers? I think it's ironic because like, I believe in truly like doing your craft and based on doing your craft really well and aligning yourself with really strong people who have the same vision, you partner up and we create. So I, I back up artists a lot back in the day. So I met a lot of, I still am in touch with a lot of really famous artists. But to me, it's not about the fame. It really isn't about the money. It really isn't about that. Honestly, like I choose to be an artist. I mean, we're in commercial scene, so there must be like a balance, I think, of business and arts. That's where I love to play with this medium. But I feel it's about really pursuing what you really, really want and doing it really, really well. And naturally, I think that's a byproduct that comes with working really hard and being dedicated, being very disciplined every single day, making the right choices as an artist and as a business person. Uh, let's find out a little bit on the other side. You come from Asia, like origin, like in China or, you know, I don't know, they are like, uh, where, where, like which year, like uh, Japan or Korea, where, where are you from? I'm originally from Singapore. Singapore, okay, Singapore, very different. Uh, so, in I work with a number of uh, models f uh, coming from ch uh, Asian uh, uh, origin, and I always find that it's more difficult to find Asian models. And in parents, like think that you have to be a doctor, you have to be a lawyer. How dare you uh, modeling? And uh, uh, actually, it's an honorable profession. It's uh, uh, like there is an honor in dance, and there is an honor in, in uh, modeling, but a cultural. Uh, uh, perception is uh, quite strong like uh, how why do we do not have that many Asian uh, origin uh, models on the runway uh, why it's uh, so difficult uh, for the older generation to accept uh, that choice great question I think like I was a scholar too I'm graduated from NUS shout out to NUS I love it I'm grateful for my um, strong science education and my scholarship back in the day I was really really grateful 10 years ago um, for me personally, I chose to do the arts full time because like, I felt like it's now or never. Like, I might as well try it and when I tried it, it worked out for me. But I think 
With every field, it doesn't matter science or arts, it's about be really being true to who you are and yourself. Um, whether Asian, black, white, I, I meet people all the time. Maybe when you're, I see a lot of Asian models. To me, I feel there's so many Asian models. So that's, I think, depending on the circles you hang out with or the people you attract, your tribe. So I think there's always people and there's always somebody for someone. I believe that. So I don't think it's actually very little, but I understand in terms of Asian stereotype. But I think Asia has already rapidly changed. As you can see, you guys all know China. So I love what China is doing. I love what Japan is doing. I've, I love what everyone is doing and it's revolutionizing at such a rapid pace. So I think that stigma no longer holds true. But I think they're amazing. I have met like a ton of brilliant artists from Asia or from America that flew to Asia and just this whole cultural diversity. Like it's so easy to fly a plane ticket right now. Literally like it takes, it takes like, now they have a direct flight from New York to Singapore in like 19 hours from JF, uh, J, um, no, from EWR in Jersey. So I think the world is getting so much more smaller with technology. I'm able to connect. That's why I'm doing tech, tech stuff right now. It's like you're so able to see in real time what the other side of the globe is doing and the world is becoming so more connected. So I personally feel that it's not a stigma. I don't feel, I think it's so much more available with the larger resources. People are more empowered and I hope you are empowered to do what you really called to do and what you really want and what you truly believe in and I think it's totally possible regardless of your ethnicity, your color, your race. I, I learned to not see color as a problem or a stigma or it really doesn't matter because like I could be Asian but I just speak French a little bit. You know like I, I, I throw all this like I think it's all about breaking the mindset and it sounds like a lot of people need to start thinking of not in boxes but people are people and you empower yourself and what you want to do in your life is up to you. Yeah, that's how I feel. So you're true banana. Like, do you, are you familiar with the term banana? Like, uh, that, that? Purple, uh, I guess. <laughs> like the, the way they think it's like you, like you look orange like uh, from outside but you kind of, they, they say white from inside so you kind of think that, uh, that that's the culture and that that's how they, they call themselves like a banana. I don't know if it's offensive term or it's uh, actually kind of uh, a stigma uh, uh, for the uh, whole culture. Guys, but let's come back to the norm, like, uh, cool stuff. Let's figure out what is your Instagram. Um, Venus Chun. So you can follow me at V-E-N-U-S, the planet Venus on feminine power and energy and Chun, C-H-U-N, my first name. Yep, Venus Chun. She'll have cool pictures there and some cool music and some dances. Thank you.